Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nello here. So before I start this video, I just want to use this opportunity to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. I really appreciate all the love you've showed me this year. Thank you so much to every single one of you that subscribe to my channel, every one of you that comment always and like my videos and share it and just basically spread the word. I appreciate it so much. I started this channel like two years ago and I'm really proud of how far I've come in these two years. I, guess I started putting up videos two years ago, not like I started the channel two years ago. But basically, I am, you know, happy to see where 2006, 2019 will take me, okay? I'm getting to actually figure out what you guys like in this channel. I'm going to try my best to put it out there for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And may God bless you all. That being said, um, today's video is a get ready with me. I'm going to be discussing one important issue, one or two important issues in this video. So why I create this look is very, very simple look. I think this, this look on a normal day will probably take me like 10 minutes to finish. So it's a very simple holiday look. If you want to hear what I have to say and if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. And you guys, let's meet in the comment section down below. As always, you guys already know the drill at this point. Um, let me know your experiences, share your thoughts and just let's chat, okay? So guys, I should apologize first because I'm using a fan. So if you're hearing any noise in the background, it's the fan. Um, yeah, and I'm not using my, uh, uh, what's it called? My mic for this video just because it's a lot stressful and I'm kind of in a hurry. So pardon the voice if it's sounding weird, but I know you guys are not interested in how I sound. You're interested in what I have to say and what I'm doing. So I apologize. Okay, going on. Today's, Kobe is just here creamy himself it's funny today's video um i'm going to do my makeup while we just as usual you guys already know meet me in the comment section as always and um i'm going to be doing most of my looks using this warrior palette warrior 2 by juvia's place it looks like this i absolutely love this palette because i do my eyeshadow with this palette my blush my contour the only thing i can't do with this palette is highlight um yeah but i'm going to be using it for my eyeshadow blush and contour today and i'll show you guys how i use that and there's this ray of sunshine on this part of my body it's so weird and i don't know how to make it go i feel like if i close the curtains i'm going to lose the natural light i'm using the windows are closed just one window is open but hey you guys just bear with me today okay so guys for my eyeshadow i'm basically going to sweep like a mixture of this brown here and this orange all over my lid and that's it like this is kind of like a Christmas look and I'm going for like a bold red lips so I want my eyes to be very simple so I'm going to be mixing those two colors together um, hit off the excess and just sweep it all over my lid you don't want any of the colors to overshadow anyone so just a perfect blend of the two just going to make my lid a little bit darker but still very very neutral That is basically it for my eyeshadow. You guys, I apologize for this light. I don't know why it's really disturbing me. Kobe, can I have my brush, please? So that is basically it for my eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to quickly draw the liner. I'm going to use like this glitter eyeliner on um, on my lid as my eyeliner. Then when I come back, we'll start just... So guys, I just finished my eye makeup, which is basically the eyeshadow you guys just saw. I put on my lashes, line my eyes, we um the glitter and uh, glitter <laughs> and um i put a purple eyeliner because i don't want my eyes to be too dark i don't want my eyes to be the center of attraction today so for my foundation i'm going to be using the maybelline matte poreless fit me foundation um i've done this foundation in a long time but my ColourPop is out, guys. And the thing I ordered from ColourPop since Black Friday, I've still not received. I'm not able to track. I'm so disappointed at this point because I needed all those things for this Christmas. And now I don't have them. And they're definitely not getting here before I leave. So I'm hoping that sometime in January to get here. It's been a month. And I've not really 
waited this long for Colourpop before, usually between a week and two weeks. So imagine my disappointment. Anyways, I'm going to be using the Maybelline today. So let me just dive straight into it here. Yeah. One of the things I wanted to talk about in this like get ready with me is abortions. I know this is such a sensitive topic for people in Nigeria just because like I feel like whenever people hear the term abortion, they just assume oh a wanted pregnancy that you want to abort or something like that, which in most cases maybe that's what it applies to. By the way, I'm using the shade coconut. I don't know if you guys can see it well. This this whole sun thing. Anyways, yeah, so there are different forms of abortion here and different reasons why people abort babies. For example, like I've kind of had an abortion before. Before you guys scream, <gasps> you guys, I had a miscarriage. If you watched my um if you watched that miscarriage story, you would know this. I had a miscarriage and as I was miscarrying, um, the doctors just told me that the best option um, is actually to just um, abort the baby since the baby is already dead and gone, just to quicken the process because I had like a lot of um, events and things going on that period and the whole process of miscarriage takes a really, really long time. For some people, it takes up to two weeks of everyday pain and stuff. So the doctor just advised that I just like to do something called a manual. I'm sorry for the noise, you guys. Kobe is just in and out. That I do something called a manual. Co close the door. Close the door. So the doctor just advised I do something called a manual vacuum aspiration, which is basically still an abortion. So, but in this case, it's a necessary abortion. Whereas there are other sorts of abortion where it's just you get pregnant, you don't want the pregnancy, and you abort the baby. So before I just about what I want to just, I just wanted to get it out there that not all abortions are bad. So I'm not here trying to say that oh, if you ever aborted a baby, it's bad because sometimes it's actually a life or death situation, and people need to like abort their kids. It's sad, you guys. The experience is really sad. So I'm not going to dwell on that part of the abortion today um so why i'm talking about this today because some weeks back this happened a while ago actually i just didn't talk about it here um i went to the salon to and i'm using the newborn beauty in my skin concealer i told you guys this concealer is a keeper that's what i'm using today so i went to the salon where i do my nails to get my nails done and there i met someone mind you she's married she's not single you know so she felt like okay the fact that she was married makes it okay to openly discuss um you know about same babies and stuff like that and maybe makes it not such a big deal because she was married i'm just saying i feel like that was how she felt because she really talked about this abortion thing very very openly and like without a single care in the world so she was like oh she, obviously she has been married i think she has about three kids she's still like young and stuff maybe like early 30s at most um she has about three kids and you know she she's not on birth control which is another thing like she's not having kids but she's not on birth control which is another thing in this country birth control is such a sensitive topic even for married people that I don't get it like I just don't get it and it's I feel like not having access to birth control is one of the major reasons why people feel why people get to the situation why people get into the situation of getting pregnant obviously and then having to abort their kids because they don't have access to basic birth control I've had situations where people actually go to the hospital looking for birth control and the doctor says things like oh you're a Christian girl you shouldn't be doing this oh I'm going to tell your parents this oh like are you kidding you know these are not kids these are at least people that are 18 and above so going back to my story anyways um yeah she goes like she's not on birth control you know in her case I don't even think access to birth control is the issue because I know doctors usually don't have a problem with, um, you know, giving birth control to married people in Nigeria. So she's not on birth control anyways. And that within the course of the past three years, she has had about six to seven abortions. 
I'm like, wait, at first I was confused. And mind you, she's not my friend. I was just meeting her for the first time, so she was just talking openly about this. So I didn't want to be very inquisitive, like I didn't want to ask so many ask so many questions. So it doesn't seem like oh I'm just proposing or I just want to gossip because I tend to do that a lot where I don't like I have questions, but you know, sometimes people get it wrong. Sometimes I'm just trying to be ed like educate myself on topics. But when you ask a lot of questions, people just see like this gossip that you know. I don't know. I just I just tend not to ask a lot of questions. Anyways, she goes. She has had about you guys. I love this concealer. She goes that she has had about six to seven in the course of two to three years i'm just like oh my god first of all a lot of women are going through infertility a lot of women are looking for these children so it's just very painful that you just take it for granted basically there are so many ways to avoid abortion there are so many things you can do in fact even if you're not on like any like birth control pill or any form of like birth control there are other natural ways you can actually avoid getting pregnant but just felt like she was nonchalant about it she didn't care and she didn't even care putting her body through all that stress basically because you're stressing your body you don't know like seven that's a lot and those are all like unnecessary abortions in the sense that it could have been easily avoided you know you had the power to avoid them but you just you just didn't you guys this this just i don't know i wanted to talk about this a long time ago but i just forgot maybe i think i just forgot about it yeah i wanted to talk about it is this a long time ago but i just forgot about it you guys this was such an unnecessary thing or this is such an unnecessary thing to do you know it's just very 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 unnecessary like people are you know suffering people are going through a lot trying to get what you have and just taking it for granted it's really really it's really really sad i know a lot of not a lot maybe a few people going through infertility and i know their hustles believe me i know their hustles yeah i know their hustles you know it gets to the point where i even feel bad sharing my news like when i get pregnant or just any good thing that happens in my life or my kids life just because i feel like i don't want to work it on their faces so imagine having people going through that and you're just doing a portion after a portion after a portion no it's just wrong like i i feel like personally it's just wrong like if i told you how to do it it should be <sighs> it shouldn't be in this kind of scenario i get like some people get raped and some people just find themselves in situations that they can't help it and maybe they don't want the baby I don't know I've never been in that situation and I pray never to be but in this particular situation this particular instance it's all in your hands like you have the power to to prevent the pregnancy you have the power not to go through this whole abortion thing and you're choosing to go through it so I mean I just I'm judging let me not even lie I'm, I'm seriously judging Now to contour my face, I'm going to be using this right here and I'm going to mix it with this. I'm going to mix in this to contour my face. Then for my nose, I will use just this. Then for my blush, I normally use this right here. So I'm going to quickly do all that and I'll be right back. I'm just going to highlight using um, this palette I've been using as mirror, the BH Cosmetics Cali Bible. This one right here. Yes. Um. Anyways, you guys. Sometimes they're in, still talking about kids and the whole thing. So like the whole kid zone. My children, like I know, like 
I am blessed to have them. But have you guys ever gotten to the point where you're just like, you're just tired, you're just, I don't know how to explain it, they are very exhausting, like, it's, it's a lot. And I just, I think the one thing that helps me whenever I feel that way is when I remember the fact that I'm actually blessed to have them and people are praying to be in this situation I'm in right now. So whenever I feel that way, I just kind of calm down and thank God for giving me the kids that I have. But at the same time, I just want to throw them away, like basically just be gone. Kids are such hard work and I'm traveling like next tomorrow for Christmas and I don't even know how I'm going to do with them there because you know like when you're at home like you know it's it's really different than when you travel because you don't have all your usual toys you can't pack everything as you're going they it's not really where they stay often so I don't know how to explain it it's just not the same you guys don't worry we're, we're going to blend this <laughs> I like a heavy highlights if you know me right now you know so it's just not the same and I really really dread going back but I cannot go because of how stressful it's going to be. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I should pray for me. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can this Christmas. There is there is a bunch of activities, I mean. There is a, a handful of activities that is going to be happening. I have my friends tried um in three days and um yeah, I'm going to be seeing Nazo, Oi, my sisters, everybody, everybody's coming back. I think they're already, not there, not like I think, they are already in the village now. I'm actually the last one going back because I just got back from my friend's trial. So for my lips, I'm going to be using red and this is a Colourpop and I lost Sarah Heap um, lip lipstick in Ariba. And I'm equally lining with the Colourpop lip pencil. I can't remember, let me see if I can find it it has wipes guys i can't find the, the name but i'm going to line with this lip pencil and i need the color pop So guys this is what the finished look looks like this is the perfect holiday glam it's very simple on the eyes and just a statement lips you can go with pink purple or red whatever color you want and yes i'm feeling myself you guys just know that after i filmed this video the probability that i'm just going to lie down on my bed and do nothing is very high even though i'm supposed to have a play date with my kids and my brother's kids but i'll see how that goes but yeah this is the finished look hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like comment and once again merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you guys in the new year